taken out of their environments in the inner city and put into this academic house that nurtures their growth. This week, I think we've finally given these girls a dream that you've always wanted, to have a girl's hope home. I know, I can't wait. <laughs> Move that bus already. <laughs> Check out the brand new Girls Hope of Baltimore! So first of all, take a look up. Do you see that right there? Yes. These are seven doors. Each one is personalized with you in mind. You guys are the first seven girls, and there are gonna be more girls that walk through this door, and they'll look at these doors, and it symbolizes the doors of opportunity that are gonna happen by being in this home. You did a beautiful job with how it looks, what it represents, and more important, because it's about their lives and their future. This is India. <gasps> and it's not, that is bad. And that truly is a door to their futures opening that wasn't there before that house was there. This is sort of my big project this week. I want to make you guys a table that symbolizes your unity because you guys are a sisterhood now. If you look closely, you'll see your name inscribed in each of these plaques with room to grow, to have more members. This experience has been a chance of a lifetime. Not everyone has this opportunity, and I feel grateful. It feels like I'm stepping into a new family, a new life, a new beginning. <laughs> The mixture of the boys' hope and the girls' hope and the, my, my family all intermixed. It couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> oh my God. That's awesome, right? <laughs> you like? Love it. Love it. It's just, it's incredible. This is, uh, all the girls got this. That's from your mom. 
So go ahead and read that. No, I don't want to read it. It's going to make me cry. Oh, that's okay. I cry all the time. <laughs> it says, hi, Lachey. I just want to let you know that I love you so much. <laughs> you are one step closer to where you want to be or trying to go. I'm so proud of you. Know that life puts us in places we are supposed to be. This is an opportunity that you must cherish, embrace, and use to help you reach your peak. Mom, I want you to know that I am very grateful for you. I love you. I thank you for being there for me every time I needed you. I thank you for letting me come here. And um, I love you. There's a lot I want to say to you, but I can't put it all in one letter. Baby girl, her mommy loves you a lot, so don't ever forget it. Just having her put that in a letter, it meant everything to me. Like, she really believes in me. Come here. Give me a hug. Just to think that somebody cared enough about your child to do that for all these girls. This is the first seven, and just think there's going to be seven more after that. I just thank you. I thank you for really all of us, for all the mothers. You don't know how you change these girls' lives. Now, this is your new library. It's a lot of books. Yeah. And so, there's some interesting things in here. Now, you guys know, obviously, Shaquille O'Neal, right? Yes. Did you know that he's getting his PhD and he's going to become a doctor? No. Well, check this out. You guys have got Shaq's bust right here that says Dr. Shaq. Yes. So do me a favor. Someone come over here and move that bust. Pull Somebody it forward just a little bit. You ready? Hold on. Don't scare me. Bookshelf was a stairway down to the basement. Don't get me started on the basement. It has a computer room. I love computers. A huge white couch with a lot of colorful pillows. It's a place where you could lounge and watch movies. I'm going to be in that basement every day. There's actually been some people that have really been helpful, and in fact, they've been working on this project all week. And they want to say hi. Hey guys, come on in here. Oh. Hey. I saw the house, I was, I was amazed. I'm speechless. So what do you guys think? I mean, the table turned out pretty awesome, yeah. right? Yeah. I just want to say this, because it has been a pretty phenomenal week. I mean, we battled incredible storms, but to see the spirit uh, of everyone never giving up, and in slightly more than seven days, <laughs> we have built a home away from home for these girls. And what's great is this is a new future for you guys, but it's also for generations of girls to come. This really is a new beginning for you guys. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. To go from an idea and a dream to serve girls in Baltimore to this in a week. I could never say thank you enough to all these people that did this for us, for those girls, for the girls in the future. It's, it, it's a miracle. I guess there's just one thing left to say. Welcome home, Girls Hope! Welcome. Welcome.